Hey guys, it's me, VOD Gamer here, and today we'll be taking a look at Cryo vs Attack Percentage Goblet for Shenfer. This video aims to highlight the diminishing returns of attack percentage, especially when you stack attack on Shenfer, and when Cryo damage bonus cut is actually more beneficial. Let's get into it. Unsurprisingly, Cryo Damage Bonus prioritizes Shenhe's own damage, while Attack Percentage prioritizes her buffing capabilities. What is interesting to note, however, is that Kea actually needs to use his E 5 times in order to get the same equivalent buff that Cryo Damage brings, just from one instance of Shenhe's E. Of course, exact break even numbers will differ from character to character and account to account. For those who are interested in more theory, I'll link Slice's guide below in the description for your information on how exactly Shenhe's damage is calculated. But all in all, this shows that if you are running a mono cryo, or perhaps even a double cryo, it might be actually more beneficial to opt for a cryo damage cup, or perhaps stick to an attack percentage goblet and swap out the sense for some energy recharge. Well in under 1 minute, you got your answer to the opening question, and if you do really like short and sweet, straight to the point content, do consider liking and subscribing to this channel for more of such future content. With that, cheers, EOD Gamer, signing off.